gas can <laughs> Brewed in Baltimore, Maryland. Woo. What the hell are we about to do? Alright, um, well, sorry guys, I didn't really get any good B roll of Josh doing this because he did it in the middle of the day. Damn. Sick, full titanium. Down pipe to a side pipe kind of job? Well, I've explained this like 30 times, but people will still ask. I will be cutting the bottom of my door. It's fine. But, um, so it's all three inch, all titanium from the back of the turbo. Oh. Oh, Marie. Oh, thank you. Get in there. Uh, so tile, wastegate. Slip fit right here. This is all titanium. This, even the little wastegate thing is. Damn. Yeah. Josh hooked it up. Going all in. Yeah, he's the man. Lightweight. Um, and then we basically just, uh, I got these, these bad boys at Jags. But basically what I'm gonna do is run a uh, clamp around these two and then a clamp here at this slip fit right here. Mm. So what I need to, I can, I can just pull this clamp, these two clamps, slide that part of the exhaust off, or I could just loosen them, slide it back a couple inches, take the downpipe off. It's all, it's like four bolts. Dang. So what are we doing today with this? So today. We're going balls to the wall? We're gonna burn some titanium. There you go. Never done it before. Actually, we did a little test piece. I don't know where I put it. And a roofing uh, <laughs> torch. That's the same setup my stepdad used for the grill. For a grill? Yeah, start what? his to start his coal process to no. burn the coal. Okay, well I don't know shit about barbecue, so I don't know if you're doing it right or not, but I've had it before though, so it's dank. I'm gonna say you're doing it right. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this sucker off, and uh, you can see I kind of hand polished this piece, but um, actually here's a good example. This piece I've polished it on. All of these bends were already pre-polished, but the sections in the center are not. This is kind of how it comes. Just raw titanium? Yeah. So Josh has a piping polisher. Thingamajig. Thing, it looks crazy. Um, so we're gonna take this thing off, try and polish it, because when you burn it, it'll be an uneven color if it's some of the bends and elbows and stuff like that are all polished and the rest of it's not. And also these lines will show up in the final color and stuff like that. So we get it all uniform polish and then burn it. All right, let's get it. Yeah. Fun science today. Started with some beer, now we end up with some fire. Good job. Is this my beer? I don't know. Shout out to balls. I'm not going balls to the wall at all. I'm trying to figure out what I can do. I have stuff to do on my interior, but I don't want to get in his way. You said you're going to yeah. work in the Lexus? I might pull it in. I don't know. Do I want to go about trying to get it on the, the alignment rack? Go balls rack to the wall, and man. Do all hurry up and get to it. <laughs> you might just roll the dip tonight, too. Okay, this is a weird thing this is Josh's sander. <laughs> Um, so I was using gloves and Josh just uses his fingers on the inside of this. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, because once you burn it, any of your like oils from your hands and stuff like that will make marks. Well, yeah. actually burn like a fingerprint yeah, shape. Yeah, there's full fingerprint oils. So. 
So if you want your fingerprints, don't commit any crimes in the brick now. But just in case, we're gonna run some wax and grease remover over this entire, both of these pieces. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of put them together and hang them with uh, a little bit of welding wire that I took out in the very beginning of this episode. <laughs> and then we're gonna just torch the shit out of it. All right, sounds we'll like- We'll figure, we don't really know what we're doing, so we're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna go, uh, you know. Go with the flow, with, flow. with the blue rhino. Also, mm. go balls to the wall. And yeah, that's a quote for the day. <laughs> yeah. Quote of the day, balls to the wall with everything. Um, if you do burn it and you don't like how it came out, you could always polish it back. As you see, like any of these welds, like you can see like this weld right here. Uh, as it gets hot, it obviously changes colors, but this was polished right here. And it goes right back to the same like silver titanium. And that boy Tim getting a close up with the GoPro. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it does look good when it's wet. Hey, that's <laughs> what she said. Wow, he's a wild lover. <laughs> All right, kids, always remember, be safe when playing with propane. Also remember, lefty tighty, righty loosey. All right, so we're gonna do a little science experiment. Titanium versus steel. Bitch. Science, bitch. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is 420-ish degrees, and the titanium, 120. And you think if the steel wasn't inside of the titanium? You should see how far the titanium, is it, is the steel still hot over here? So this is warm over here. The steel is way hotter over here. Yeah. I don't know why I'm holding it and telling you. <laughs> 106. Damn. That's literally just the heat from the chain. Because we didn't heat the inside of the, the titanium at all. We just heated the chain on the other side and so the heat transferred through wait, it. Should I touch? No, don't touch. Right. No, not with your hand. Yeah, your gloves are good. So there you go, guys. Mm. We are becoming so, scientists. I did obviously not wipe down this very corner because you can see my fingerprint here, right, like right in the edge. You see it? Uh, no, not you on know, camera. Get on in there. Come on, you can see it on camera. So you ever want to look at Chad and see if he did anything, any murders? Look up. That's probably like my thumbprint. You know, one of them good guys. He says we tore the jail. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but you know, today we're going balls to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cooled down so we can put it on. So you see, you have to get it fairly know, hot. Right to the, about the color of a um, peacock mantis shrimp. You, everyone knows what they look like. I about don't, about that color. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> Steel chain is holding onto a shitload of this, uh, the heat though. And it's keeping this kind of warm. Yeah. This whole side we did earlier. It's cold up there and it's a little warmer here. You can feel, actually, if you look underneath here, where the chain was sitting on it, Hold it up, had like it. little hot spots. See the chain? Chain was sitting oh, here, not it. <laughs> here, here. But that's pointing down. Also, we didn't know what the hell we were doing, so I'm pretty happy with <laughs> this. So. These are Easter eggs you'll find on the build. Damn. <laughs> you so get right back to that Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, phone thing. 
Yeah. yeah, no wonder. No case. Somebody picked no up case. on it too. Yeah. Well, actually, a couple people did. They even had a reference link. Dude, Neil deGrasse Tyson is like. Yo, dude. Think of him. He was your grandfather. Yo, they're really playing Nelly right now behind they us. They are. And <laughs> hey, this was like one, one of, of my favorite. Actually, no, that's the photographer upstairs. This is a summertime mood song. We too. should go up there and chamber. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> too excited. How much do you think it weighs? Uh, I'm gonna say six, five pounds, six pounds. Y'all should already know, we don't guess weight around here. <laughs> you wanna know, we play. Seem to, oh, pinch my glove. Wow. <laughs> Whole exhaust. Under five pounds. <laughs>